Welcome back. I'm glad that last unit didn't scare you off. Uh, this unit starts a three unit, I don't know that you'd really want to call it a sequence, but at least um, three units on, on very closely related topics. Uh, we're going to look at a variety of metadata schemas, um, all of which are designed for different purposes. And I'll be honest, each of these metadata schemas deserves an entire week just by themselves, if not, you know, an entire course. Lots of work by lots of smart people went into creating all of these metadata schemas that we'll be looking at very quickly over the next three units. And, and I do not mean to belittle the work that went into creating these metadata schemas or their usefulness by only spending a few minutes with each of them. But the goal of this unit and the next couple of units are to introduce you to the range of metadata schemas out there, the range of uses for metadata, and the range of approaches to creating metadata schemas. The purpose here, the purpose of this unit and the next couple of units, is so that you will start to have a sense for what's out there in the world of metadata. You'll have some tools for thinking about your particular requirements for metadata and what schemas you might want to use to fulfill those requirements. Now, I've already made this joke with this quote. The nice thing about standards is that there are so many to choose from. Yeah, Admiral Hopper. Um, you will not be looking at in this unit or even in the next three units every metadata schema there is out there. That would be impossible. There are just too many of them. And there are metadata schemas in fields that I know nothing about. The point is, you get to choose the metadata schema. You get to choose the standard that works for you for your particular requirements and use cases. And in this unit, we're going to look at some of the metadata schemas that are widely used out there in the world, but there are plenty of others to choose from. I've already made this joke too. I just can't resist these quotes. I love them. Um, standards are like toothbrushes. Everyone agrees that they're a good idea, but nobody wants to use anyone else's. Why are there so many metadata standards out there is really the question that you need to ask yourself at this point. Well, you know, to back that up a little bit, ask yourself, why are there so many standards generally? And, you know, a perhaps slightly jaded answer that I would give is because everyone thinks they're special. Everyone, every organization thinks that their use case is unique, that no one else's standard applies to their special situation. And to be fair, in some cases that's correct, but not in all cases. Or another answer to why there are so many standards out there is that everyone believes that they can build a better standard than what has come before. And this XKCD webcomic, which is one of my favorite webcomics out there, I think sums up that situation very nicely. In this unit, what we will be doing is these three things very broadly. I've broken this unit up into three kind of rough subsets. They're sort of arbitrary, I have to admit, because every metadata schema is designed for specific purposes, for specific uses, and that may or may not have anything to do with any other metadata schema that already exists. And here I am kind of lumping these together, but the way I've created these buckets, if you will, is by function. What does the metadata schema allow us to do if we apply it? What are the use cases that it's intended to cover? First, once again, we'll talk about descriptive metadata, of which I have the most examples. Then we'll move on to metadata for other purposes, other kinds of things that you can do with metadata schemas. Now, some of the metadata we'll be looking at is intended for human consumption, some for 
computers and consumption by algorithms and software, etc. cetera. Um, and finally, at the end of the unit, we'll talk about crosswalks. And crosswalks are a way of translating between metadata schemas, which I think it should be fairly obvious, once you start getting a proliferation of metadata schemas becomes very necessary. So here we are, let's get started.